Well, a little Shakespeare from Hamlet. This is actually a part, one of my favorite parts, of course so many are, where Shakespeare is actually giving directions to the players. In Hamlet there's, <clears throat> as in other plays, there is a play within a play. And so this rather unique bit of instruction I've always felt is was kind of, you know, actually a gift to anybody who studies Shakespeare or does Shakespearean plays. So here we go. Speak the speech, I pray you, as I... Let's start all over. All over, all over. Here we go. Shakespeare, Hamlet. This is a lovely little piece from Hamlet where it almost sounds like Shakespeare is giving personal direction to the players of the future. And this kind of is in the play within a play in Hamlet. Lovingly, lovingly known as the mousetrap. So here we go. Speak the speech, I pray you, as I pronounced it to you, trippingly on the tongue. But if you mouth it, as many of our players do, I had as leaf. The town crier spoke my lines. Nor do not saw the air too much with your hand thus, but use all gently. For in the very torrent, tempest, and as I may say, whirlwind of your passion, you must acquire and beget a temperance that may give it smoothness. Oh, it offends me to the soul, to hear a robustious, periwig-pated fellow tear a passion to tatters, to very rags, the split ears of the groundlings, who the fo for the most part are capable of nothing but inexplicable dumb shows and noise. I would have such a fellow whipped for overdoing termagant. It out harads harad. Pray you avoid it. I warrant, Your Honor, be not too tame neither. But let your own discretion be your tutor. Suit the action to the word, the word to the action with this special observance, that you overstep not the modesty of nature, for anything so overdone is from the purpose of playing. Who's in both the first and now was and is to hold as twere the mirror up to nature, to show virtue her feature, scorn her own image, and the very age and body of the time, his form and pressure. Now this overdone, or come tardy off, though it makes the unskillful laugh, cannot but make the judicious grieve. The censure of the which one must, in your allowance, overweigh a whole theater of others. Oh, there be players that I've seen play and heard others praise, and that highly. Not to speak it profanely that, neither having the accent of Christians, nor the gait of Christian pagan, nor man, have so strutted and bellowed that I had thought some of nature's journeymen had made men, and not made them well, the imitated humanity so abominably. I hope we have reformed that indifferently with us, sir. Oh, oh, reform it altogether, and let those that play our clowns speak no more than is set down for them. For there be of them that themselves will laugh, to sit on some quantity of barren spectators to laugh too. Though in the meantime, some necessary question of the play be then to be considered. That's villainous, and shows a most pitiful ambition in the fool that uses it. Go make you ready.